so this video went up today, you know, like, I film videos, and the, the, and, and now, yep. it's, I hope people watch it, you know, <laughs> like, I like it, I don't know, you know, I'm making videos to have fun, kind of just art about my life, and, yeah, so, it would be nice if people would watch it, but I'm not saying, go watch my video, or you, if you don't, you're going to blah, you know, so. Yeah. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. You know, why not? So here I'm just doing a speed paint of a sketchbook spread for my sketchbook project. That's that's the sketchbook library in New York. Yes, so I originally had a little mock-up drawing of this exact thing in my other sketchbook, like my where I do all the rough drafts. And so here's a little mud puppy larva, larvae, larva, I don't know, fishing in a little lake, pond, stream, river thing. I don't know, but it's really cute. For this, I used a ballpoint pen. I used Pentel sign pens, Crazy Heart crayons. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I love crayons. Like, I don't think I really noticed. I always thought crayons were just meh. <laughs> they're crayons. To, they're for kids. No, they're for adults too. Especially because when I was using crayons with my little cousins who are like five and four and we were doing the one marker challenge but with crayons it was so cool and i'm like wow i like the texture that they're giving off they're cheap that you're not going to spend a billion dollars like copic markers <laughs> yeah and they're, they're just they're, they're really nice i would have a few suggestions for 
Crazy Art, the company, because they have three blues and they all look the same. There's slight differences, but give me a royal blue, please. Thank you. <laughs> like they have a good selection of greens. They have like a kiwi green, a lime green, a, like a deep forest green, and then like a green, you know? Like give me different blues, please. Thanks. Also, sorry if you see my hair come into the into frame a little bit. Also, sorry if you hear a cat meowing in the background of this voiceover. Huh? Yeah, that might you might hear that. I feel like when I'm using crayons, I am more free and expressive. Like I don't have to be in the lines, you know. It's a crayon. Like you can't really keep in the lines. But like I feel like I don't draw like you have to draw perfect, eh? you know. I can do what I want, that kind of thing. If you see me using the white crayon at all during this process, it's because that helps kind of blend, quote unquote, blend everything and it enhances like the color. It makes it more vibrant and like bold and it's beautiful. I love the white crayon, love it. So the inspiration for this piece is that I wanted, well, this whole sketchbook um, for the project I want salamanders doing people things, and so I wanted something water-y type, so I could draw water, and I'm like, oh, I can go fishing, ah, oh, so cute, and so that's how this came about. It's so stinging cute. Oh, on the topic again, about crayons, I have Spectrum Noir markers, and I don't even use them anymore. Like, all I use are these cheap art supplies, like my crayons highlighters um a few pen left for like fine like like fine liner pens and that's it i don't even use my alcohol based markers anymore and i feel bad but i'm like ah for the section up in the sky that i'm um, coloring in right now i had problems because i wanted to do like the lemony green and then i put down the blue and i was trying to go really light with the blue but the blue is still too dark and so i'm like how am i gonna do this how am i gonna blend and then the white crown wasn't helping for some reason and i'm like ah. and i was, i think i worked it out but man not it was just too like scribbly man <laughs> so a few months ago all i used to draw was bats and i feel like i'm going through stages in my life where I'm like, I recognize that there's another animal out there. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. It's really cool. I want to draw that. And then I draw that a bunch and then uh, vicious cycles because now I just draw salamanders. And I especially draw mud puppies because they're so cute. They're, they're just, oh, okay. Mud puppy. I'll put a picture up of mud puppy compared to an axolotl. I think the mud puppy looks 10 times cuter because the axolotls they just kind of look creepy because they have a little smile and they're just like eh, 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 eh. creeps me out just a little so i'll put pictures up oh sorry if my voice sounds all raspy and like Rrr. it's because it's morning it's another day and i'm doing the voiceover and i just woke up so yeah so as you may have noticed while I'm coloring this, I don't just use green for plants and blue for water. I add green to the water and blue to the plants so there's unity throughout this piece. Here I'm taking a piece of paper and I look for like a quote or lyrics or something random to write down on this piece of paper and I rip it out and I paste it into my sketchbook for this sketchbook project thing because that seems to be a theme. It's like art, quote, art, or quote, art, quote, art, you know, like lyrics. Yeah. So the song I chose was, uh, it was a song by Kermit the Frog, Frog, but I don't remember. I could sing it, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's a song from the Muppet movie, the intro song where he's on a log and he's singing, you know, about rainbows and stuff. It's so cute. So here's the overview of the artwork spread, sketchbook spread. <laughs> okay guys, I'm cutting the vlog short here because I need to leave footage to then film more.
because I'm doing this on my phone and there's a max limit of how much storage stuff. And I'm going camping tomorrow. I'm going to Kentucky, so I'm going to film Kentucky stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> so, that could be the next vlog. Uh, I'll be getting back Tuesday. So I, I can edit there too. So, you know, yeah. But I'm going to put this vlog up hopefully Saturday. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my little vlog thing. Art. Mm, flower pot stuff. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day. See you in the next vlog. Bye!